Hello, I'm New Catford. Alongside me is Joe Edwards. We're here at Wolves Training Ground. We just met two special people, <laughs> Joe. Uh, of course, Nuno, our regular um, interviewee, shall we say, in yes, the press conference. Yes, yeah. And uh, Mr. Sin Cara was here. Sin Cara, the Mexican luchador, the Mexican wrestler, uh, he's here. He's um, enjoying the sights of Compton. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course, he's Wolves' he's a guest of honour tomorrow. Um, uh, Raul Jimenez, he's a friend of his and mm. wore his mask in, in celebration at Wembley and and he's, he's coming down as well to to be a part of Wolves' final home game of the season it's against Fulham of course and Nuno's been you know, speaking about that Yeah, as ever Nuno in jovial mood um, <laughs> ahead of a game doesn't doesn't like to give up too much I mean, I'm pretty sure we know about that now um, more of the same from Nuno I think taking every game seriously he doesn't want to see Wolves slip up Admittedly, haven't done great against bottom six sides, but you know Nuno doesn't look like he's letting that affect him. No, no, it's very much um, as you were, and and that's what you want to see, isn't it? That uh, you know Nuno and the lads aren't treating this any differently. There's no sense of um, any kind of you know pressure, you know, getting to them. Obviously, that they could well all be finish you know seventh with with a win um, against Fulham, of course. Uh, Leicester could still do it, but they've got Man City on Monday night, yeah. and that's looking unlikely. So, you know, a, a win would, would, you know, pretty much go a good way to sealing the job. And um, yeah, Wolves are in fine fettle, no injury problems yet again. And you know, you've got to keep on commending the work of the, the medical department here because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of teams have had injuries and players on the shelf. Wolves haven't really had it all season long, so long may that continue. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's going to be a day of celebration, of course, for Wolves' it's fans. You know, last home game of the season, they'll be doing a lap of appreciation as they ordinarily do. Nuno's getting an honorary degree from the University of Wolverhampton. Yes, but it's, it strikes me as Nuno, he, he could he couldn't really care less about that kind of stuff. He's all about the football, isn't he? He's all about the football. Obviously, you know, there is a part of him, Doctor Nuno, if you want to call him. Yeah. That, 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 of course, he's very appreciative of everything that's going on. Of course, he is. I mean, he doesn't let it cross in his demeanour. He doesn't get carried away by things. But obviously, having an honorary degree, he's expressed his pride about that. And you know, he says it's nice to see you know Raúl's friend in Sin Cara coming mm. over here. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a he's a coach, he's a manager first and foremost, and he's you know preparing for what he reckons is going to be a tough test in Fulham. Of course, Fulham, you know, have long been you know had, had a relegation confirmed from the Premier League. Mm -hmm. But um, if anything, that's you know, that's been like that's lifted the weight off the shoulders yeah. almost, and they're playing with freedom there. They've won the last three, got a few good players in there. Ryan Babel scored a few as of late, so. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be any a pushover by by any stretch of the imagination. I think they're going to give Wolves a pretty tough game to be honest. Yeah, and as you said, free free on the bounce. Scott Parker was uh, up for the Manager of the Month award. Yeah. I mean, this Fulham side it does look like the shackles have come off. And could that play into Wolves' hands a little bit? Because a lot of the other sides in the bottom six have, have set up with two banks of four, tried yeah. to get all the players behind the ball, which Wolves have struggled to break down. And yeah. many teams have struggled to, to, to do that. But Fulham, you look, you get the vibe that they're gonna they're gonna go out there and try and go at Wolves, which could probably work in their favour. That, that's that's a good point to be honest, because they're not going to be a Brighton. Uh, no. I don't think they're going to be you know ten men behind the ball and you know not even having a shot on target. I think they're gonna they're, they're gonna go for it. I think yeah. they're in, not like massively like end to end stuff. Obviously, they will be reserved in some respect because mm. you know they obviously want to try and build as much momentum as they can. You know, to take into the championship in some respects. I mean, I think the squad will change regardless, but mm -hmm. they want to kind of have some crumbs of comfort to take into next season. So there won't be all guns blazing. There will be a bit more expansive than the Brighton, though, I'd say. Um, and this is a team that, you know, Wolves have, you know, now well, obviously, you know, drew a, a, a Craven Cottage in the reverse fixture, played him a couple of times last season, of course, in the championship. Yep. And, you know, there, there is mainstays from, from both from both of those years, you know, in both teams. So I think they're going to be well matched and I think it's going to come down to some, you know, Jota and Jimenez brilliance perhaps to, to see to see Wolves for it. Yeah, and Wolves, of course, as you said, fully fit. Do you see any changes being made? I can't, to be honest, I can't. Um, maybe one, maybe Ruben Vinagre gets a run out, but other than that, really, I can't really see there being any changes. I think, you know, you're going into these final two games now, um, you know, looking to seal seventh spot and, and make you know this season count as, as much mm. as you can um, of course you know they're still at the mercy of whoever wins the FA Cup but you know it, 
you want to get these wins and get them in the bag, especially with especially with Liverpool coming up. You want to get this one, three points. So yeah, I, you could see Vinagre come off the bench maybe after mm. an error, but um, I fully expect it to be the usual eleven that starts. Yeah, and you you beat me to it there. I mean, it's one of them games which you really do have to go out and get three points in because Liverpool last day if they're playing for something which they it looks like they could well be yeah um, you wouldn't fancy that would you for three points you wouldn't on paper um, but you know Wolves have ups, upset the apple cart a few times yeah. this season you know a, a few people may look at that game as get more confident with more confidence than they do this Fulham game just mm. judging by the records against you know the top six and the bottom six um, but yeah, you want to get this win in the bag regardless, and then go into that Liverpool game not really needing anything, and then perhaps you know like Fulham are going to be coming to Molyneux without pressure, then you can go to Anfield without any pressure really. Mm. So um, yeah, let's hope that is the case. Let's get three points against Fulham, and then go into that final day at Anfield and just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, and go on then, Joe. Give me a prediction. Fulham do uh, Wolves break this bottom six hoodoo? I think they do, yeah, I think they do. And I expect Fulham to perhaps even get a goal, um, but I'm going to go similar to last weekend against Watford. I think Wolves 2-1, perhaps 3-1 later. Mm. So I'll probably go 2-1, because um, I think Fulham have shored up a little bit at the back. They've still got you know, some, some weaknesses there, of course. You know, They're a relegated team. So if uh, the Wolves is attacking trio of Jimenez, Jota and Matinho are at it, then they'll score goals. Let's hope they lay the smack down on Fulham, eh? So that just about does it. Make sure you stick with us for all your pre-match build-up.